uh, 1 half, which, by the way, it can be thought of as the reciprocal of the number 2, that's why we're kind of doing this, times negative 16a plus 20. How would we simplify that? Well, we have a number. It's just a, a fraction, which we, another word for that is a reciprocal. Um, on the outsides, so we can distribute that into that term and then also separately to that term. So here we have uh, this. What is 1 half times negative 16a? Well, it is a positive times a negative, so we now know, since we've done that kind of work, that that's going to give us a negative answer. And then the 1 half times the 16 can be written as 16 over 2 times a. The reason it's written that way is because 16 is really 16 over 1. Multiply the top numbers, you get that. Multiply 1 times 2, and you get that. The negative sign comes because of negative times positive. The a just comes along for the ride. Now, we have to distribute 1 half times 20, which can be written as 20 over 2. It's the same story. 20 times 1 gives you this, and then on the bottom, the implied 1 times the 2 gives you this. So now we have to try to simplify that. The first fraction is 16 divided by 2, which can be written as negative 8 a, the negative just comes along for the ride. 20 divided by 2 is, is just going to be 10. So the final answer is negative 8a plus 10. So you see, not that difficult, but we have to keep track of different things along the way. So we have to be careful. 1 third times 18b minus 39. Again, we have this reciprocal out here, which is the reciprocal of the number 3. So we're just going to treat it like a fraction, which is what it is. Multiply it in to here. And what we'll get is 18 over 3 times b. Because the top numbers, 18 times 1, gives you this. The bottom number, 1 times 3, gives me this. The b comes along for the ride. The minus sign comes along for the ride because it's already inside the parentheses. And then the 1 third times the 39 is going to be written as 39 over 3 when we multiply those together in the same exact way. So then we try to simplify. 18 divided by 3 is an even 6. The b comes along for the ride. 39 divided by 3 is 13. So the minus sign comes straight from here. 39 divided by 3 is 13. And that's the final answer. So you see this stuff isn't really that hard, but we just have to be a little careful along the way. Now, what if you have this? Negative 42m, which is a variable, minus 21k, which is a different variable, and on the back side we have negative 1 -seventh. So what you have is this big guy multiplied by this. Now, notice how we distribute it in when it's on the front, well, it doesn't really matter if the item on the outside is on the back. You still have to distribute it into each term. Whether it's sitting in the front or the back, they're still multiplied together, so you distribute this guy in. So we're going to do it step by step. This negative 1 -seventh distributed multiplied into this, negative times negative is going to give us positive, first of all, and then it will be written as 42 over 7 with an M there. And then we have these guys, negative times negative, also gives us positive, and that will be written as 21 over 7k. And again, same sort of thing. The 1 on the top gets multiplied by 42, giving us this. The 7 multiplied by the 1 on, implied on the bottom gives us 7, and a similar sort of thing happens right here. So now we ask ourselves, is it fully simplified? What is 42 divided by 7? That goes an even number 6 times. m comes along for the ride. 21 divided by 7 is 3, so you get 6m plus 3k, and that's the final answer there. Now we're going to get to a little more complicated problem, but again, it's the same rules. So 1 half, 8 times u plus 10v, okay, and then we'll have a minus sign, 1 third, 15u minus 3v. So now we have two sets of things that we need to distribute in. We have the 1 half, which gets distributed into here and here, and then this is a negative 1 third. You need to think of that as a negative 1 third, which gets distributed into each of these terms. So we have to do you know, everything a, a few times. So the way we're going to handle it is we're going to drop down below here to make sure we have enough room. And this 1 half here multiplied by the 8u. Positive times positive gives us positive. It's going to be written as 8 over 2 times u because the tops and the bottoms get multiplied together. And then we'll do the same thing here. The 1 half getting distributed in here is going to be plus 10 over 2 times v. Okay, and then we have negative 1 third times this term. Negative times positive gives us negative, so we have to write as negative 15 over 3 
times u. And then you need to read this as a negative one-third times a negative three. Negative times negative gives you positive. So you put the positive, it's going to be three over three times v. Okay, so make sure you understand each term, how it's happening. These guys get multiplied to give us this. This guy multiplies this. These guys multiplied gives us this. These guys multiplied gives us this. And the signs come from the regular rules of multiplication. So then we ask ourselves, 8 divided by 2, that goes an even number of times, 4u. 10 divided by 2, that goes an even number of times, 5v. The minus sign comes along. 15 divided by 3 goes an even number of times, 5u. And then 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so that just kind of drops away, 1v. We don't have to write the 1 there, it's implied in front of the v. So now we ask ourselves, are we done? Well, we look and we say, it looks pretty good, but then we see we have some like terms. We have 4u, and then we have negative 5u, but these are like terms, so we can actually um, add those together. So we have positive 4 plus negative 5, and the way we handle that is we go ahead and do the subtraction. 5 minus 4 is going to give us 1, uh, 1 u, so we'll put it like that, but the sign comes from the larger absolute value, so it's going to be actually negative u. All right, and then what we have here is 5v plus 1v. Those are both positive numbers, so we can add them and get 6v. You could write the answer like this and leave it alone, but we're just going to write it with the positive, num the positive guy first, 6v minus u. So we're just going to basically switch around those guys. Either way to write it, whether or not you write it like this or like this, is exactly the same thing. But there's nothing left to do because here you have 6 times v and here you have negative u. So these are not like terms. You can't do anything further, so you stop. All right, now we have one last problem that we're going to do. We'll go ahead and solve it over here. I think we have enough room here to solve it. And the problem is going to be like this. 1 fifth times negative 5a plus 20b. And then we have minus 1 half. And then we have 2b minus 6a. So it's the same kind of concept. We have to distribute the 1 fifth in to both of those terms and distribute this negative 1 half in to both of those terms. So let's work here. 1 fifth times negative 5. Positive times negative is going to give us a negative. It'll be written as 5 over 5a because we multiply the tops. 5 times 1 in the bottom. 1 times 5 giving us this. The a comes along for the ride. And now distributing the 1 fifth in is going to be positive 20 over 5 times b. Okay, and now we work on the second guy here. We have a negative one-half times positive. Negative times positive gives us negative. It'll be 2 over 2b. We do multiplying the top and the bottom. And then we have negative one-half times negative 6a. Negative times negative gives us positive. It'll be 6 over 2a. And now we try to simplify it. Uh, 5 over 5 is 1, so we just write this as negative 1a, so we don't have to write the number 1 there, it's, it's implied. And then 20 divided by 5 is 4b. And then the same thing, 2 over 2 is 1, so the negative stays there, the b stays there, the 1 is implied, we don't have to write it. We can if you want, you don't have to though. 6 divided by 2 is 3a. The a comes along for the ride. So what we have is this guy. Now what we try to do is look for like terms. We have negative a here and positive 3a there. Those are like terms, both involving the variable a. So we try to add them, but we see that we have negative and positive. So really what we do is we subtract them. 3 minus 1 is 2a. The a has to come along for the right. And the sign of it is going to go with the larger absolute value, which is this term. So this stays positive. So we're done with that. 4b minus b, minus 1b. So 4 minus 1 is going to give you 3. So it'll be 3b. The b's have to come along for the ride. So what you're going to have is 2a plus 3b. And that's going to be the final answer, 2a plus 3b. So you see, in this section, it's really nothing different than we've done the last uh, time. And in fact, what we're doing a lot of, a lot of uh, the time here is we're just distributing in fractions uh, here. And it's kind of under this heading of reciprocals because a reciprocal really is a fraction. So when you flip the fraction upside down. And the reason we're covering it is because here in a minute, we're going to talk about division. And you'll find out that reciprocals and division are pretty closely related, so this was just a nice lead-in to that. But make sure you can do these problems. Follow me on to the next section, and we're finally going to talk about the concept of dividing real numbers in algebra. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.